Welcome back everyone, and this is Noble Mage with another ACR deathmatch. Okay, so for a change this time, I will be following the hint that the Lady Trickster gave me during the, uh, with a comment in the previous video. And it was that maybe I shouldn't use the smoke bomb. Yeah, like, why? Like, I don't really need it. So, yeah, let's just give her a try and see what comes out. Well, anyway, I'm not really to, going to talk about the gameplay, although you may as well watch it <laughs> and enjoy it. But uh, it's like I have a few things in mind that I want to talk about. Most of them is the stuff that I saw on Twitter and or or on YouTube. And by the way, uh, I'm uh, very active on, on Twitter uh, recently. So, like, if you always want to know what what stuff I'm going on, the the videos that I'm watching and that stuff, or just you know hear my opinion on something, you can follow me and yeah, see any tweets retweet or reply whatever I will likely uh, reply to you okay so about the stuff that I wanted to talk about uh, as you remember during the last video I talked about a machinima live stream machinima live stream uh, that was on AC3 and how it wasn't very good but uh, there was another live stream and this time uh, Loomer979 wasn't it and he was like orienting the, the other players, the ones that were new to AC and it turned out to be a very decent live stream I actually enjoyed it, it lasted like 2 hours or so and I even learned stuff <laughs> from it stuff which I believe it's going to be useful once uh, I start, well I and you guys start playing AC3 ok so the first thing that I noticed is that there is a new mechanic for stunning and Something that you couldn't do before is that you couldn't stun your pursuer while they were in, in a haystack But from AC3 on then now you actually can do that Of course that's if they don't kill you before you get to the haystack But like if you're wearing disguise or something and you get close enough and press the kill slash stun button Which is the same uh, Now Then you're gonna jump into the haystack, haystack and, and stun them and that's really cool because like it opens up more possibilities lets you do more stuff you know like before you couldn't do anything un unless you had a smoke bomb or something but now you can do it even you can do a naked stun on a guy who's in, in, a, in a haystack that's just great okay so I suspect that uh, there might be other, other possible positions for stunning for example I think like if the guy's hanging uh from from you know from a wall or something and you can actually reach the guy then you might be able to stun him but th you know that's just me speculating it's not like I, I have actually seen that so that will have if some of the guys who got the game early yes because the guys in France and Spain they they broke uh, the release date and they just got the game early well, if any, any of you guys uh, watches this, vi this video and wants to, to verify whether you can stun people in, in acrobatic positions from the ground, like they're on top of you and you can stun them, then you can verify that. But that's just a theory that, that I have will be possible. Also, uh, there is another video uh, which I'm also putting down in the description uh, with, along with the one that I said that Loomer uh, put up. Uh, which is like a little uh, show showcase on on the new abilities in AC3. They also show some of the old ones, but they mostly uh, show the, the usage of the new ones. So most of the new abilities, uh, in some way, <laughs> they uh, kind of counter smoke bomb. So for example, shield, I believe, is perhaps the ultimate solution for offensive smoke bomb. Like, yes, thanks. Finally, no more smoke fest. <laughs> because, because as you know, in ACR, this, this, <laughs> which you're looking at <laughs> at your screen, yeah, that's that happens. So hopefully, uh, now in in AC3, we're not going to be seeing much of that. Yeah, of course, there's always going to be people who are stuck with the old mind <laughs> of ACR and. They're not, go not going to advance forward, but yeah, for you guys that keep improving, then you know that 
you got that ability there and it doesn't only work for that, it works for a lot of stuff. It has a cooldown of 100 seconds, but I'm pretty sure that smart players will know how to use it. Also, there's uh, the, the wipe sh uh, ability. And wipe is pretty much like mute, except that you can still get stunned or killed uh, when you use it. So the only thing that it does is it disables your pursuers or your target's uh, abilities. And also another thing that it does is that it, it reveals uh, Templars just like Mute does in ACR. So yeah, it's pretty useful and also it has another advantage which is that you can actually throw it. Like unlike Mute that you have to get, actually get close to your target in, in order to use it. Like you can throw a uh, wipe and you know just like you did a smoke bomb in ACR. And yet another advantage is that it lasts like 5 seconds so Throwing it from a distance can be pretty useful like you know it, it lasts it lasts long enough So I don't think it's gonna be a problem uh, using it from a distance and Finally uh, well, well first look at the screen right now because this is <laughs> Something that you can miss. Okay. I know this guy is going to defend with a smoke bomb because that's what everyone does and bam Where did he go? Style points <laughs> <laughs> Grab kill with the animus hack and let's eliminate the roofers. Yeah, like you're in a roof, then that means you're dying. <laughs> as simple as that. <laughs> well, anyway, keeping on with what I was saying, uh, there is also the, the glimmer ability, which is also new. And at first, I was like having doubts about the usefulness of that ability. Like, I didn't know how much visible or invisible you were going to become when using it and it turns out like if you use it and you are completely stopped like for example you are in a in a, in a group of people that is a stop a static then you are completely invisible when you use it if you're walking then you're slightly visible there's like a small uh, glimpse of, of light in the place where you are that's when you are walking of course if you run then you're going to be even more visible and of course they explained this in the multiplayer trailer but I wasn't like quite sure how you were actually going to look in the game you know like from the other players perspective because of course from your perspective since you were the one who used the, the ability then you look in a way that you can still know where you are but for your pursuer or your target, you, depending on how fast you move, then either you are completely invisible or just partially visible. Um, and I'm not sure, but I think that people can still lock on you when you are uh, with Glimmer. Which I don't know if if it gives, gives too much away your position because people could be like scouting uh, groups using the lock so they can pick you out even if you're using Glimmer. But we'll have to see how that actually plays out, you know, in the game. And yeah. Okay, one last thing regarding other people's videos. Uh, there's a friend of mine that got a very nice score, and also he shows off a lot of a lot of the stuff uh, from AC3. He's from Spain, so he got the game early. I'll put the link in the description. His his name is uh, Sergio. Uh, well. Sergio Capoy Rosso is his PSN ID so yeah you can get the idea and he has like a 12k wanted so if you wanna check it out I found it pretty awesome and I actually learned stuff from it yeah so just check the link in the description and if you like leave that guy a like okay so yes this is the closure the final well for now of course the final ACR video that I'm going to make yeah definitely this is the last one because there's not enough time for me to make another commentary and I have to say I enjoy the whole way in ACR even though there were raging moments but yeah I can say that I overall enjoyed this game I, I can't even say that I, I enjoyed it more than most people and just yes, people please get hyped give the new game a chance like a lot of people were saying on Twitter, like we, we know ACR was a fail, but just 
Start with a clean mind. Give a fresh start and give the game a chance. We know that there were a lot of bugs in ACR, but AC3 can be better and we can make it better. So let's just give it a chance. Okay, so yeah, so hyped. So hyped <laughs> that loading ACR in less than 24 hours. At least that's my case. I know that you guys are getting your, getting your physical copies, but I'm gonna be getting the digital one. And yes, that's gonna be it. I can barely wait to start playing AC3 and playing with you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this game and I hope that you are ready to enjoy the stuff that is to come. Thanks for watching. If you liked, hit the like button and I'll see you next time.